Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics Exam Point and in this particular video we will going to discuss a few current affairs questions that are most likely to be asked in UPSC Combined Geo Scientist Exam 2021. So these questions are have most probable chance that these questions uh, can be asked in UPSC Combined Geo Scientist Exam or for General Studies paper. So this is our third uh, video in this series. Uh, we already made two videos uh, in that those videos we will discuss basically the general science questions or uh, questions that are based on the class 10th uh, science so you can prepare or uh, you can watch uh, those videos also so let's start our video on current affairs question section so let's let start our discussion on the current affairs section so the first question for this is uh, the consider the following statements in context to the citizen amendment act statement first is citizenship amendment act 2019 is an amendment to the citizenship act 1956 option second is uh, the act grants citizenship to the six minorities from afghanistan pakistan and bangladesh who arrived in india before december 31 2014 and statement third is these six minorities are hindus six christians buddhist parsis and jains which uh, then uh, a question is asked about which of the given statement is, is or are incorrect option a is first only option b second only option c first and second only and option d second and third only so correct answer or uh, so correct answer for this question because it is asked about the uh, incorrect statement so if you uh, remember what is CAA then you can uh, find that CAA amendment act uh, 2019 is an amendment to the citizenship act 1955 not 1956 and statement second and statement third are correct regarding the CAA act so the uh, incorrect statement regarding the CAA act is the first only so correct answer for this question is option A then next question uh, from the current affairs section is that which of the following statement is or are correct in context to the Aishman Bharat? First uh, statement is the Aishman Bharat is a flagship uh, health insurance scheme of the central government to achieve the universal health coverage. St second statement is that the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is the apex body responsible for the impl implementation of the Aishman Bharat scheme and of, uh, statement third is the scheme comprises two components health and wellness centers and Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana PMJ right so, so here we have to choose the correct statement regarding the Aishman Bharat scheme so options are uh, first only option uh, second only option C both first and third and option D is both second and third so the correct statement for Ayushman Bharat are option uh, B that is second only the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is the apex body responsible for the implement, implementation of the Ayushman Bharat scheme right and no this is not a correct answer the Ministry of Health, Health and Family Welfare is apex body not responsible for the implementation option first and option second is option one and option third is the correct uh, answers for the Ayushman Bharat scheme yeah. option first and option third is, are the correct answers so, so the correct option for this question is option C not uh, second statement is not uh, correct regarding the Ayushman Bharat scheme so the third question regarding the current affairs section is that the consider the following statement the statement first is the first case of the coronavirus was reported from china second case is that coronavirus is officially known as covid 19 and statement third is that uh, coronavirus is highly contagious disease but does not spread from humans to animals so question is asked about which of the statements is or are, or are incorrect option a is first only option b third only option c second and third only and option d first and third only so both statement statement first and statement seconds are uh, correct 
if you know the history or regarding the covid 19 then the uh, only the option third is incorrect regarding the uh, covid 19 uh, disease so statement third only is incorrect so option b is correct for this particular question the next question is that which state has the highest forest cover as per the state of forest report 2019 option a is jharkhand option b madhya pradesh option c uttar pradesh and option d meghalaya so according to the forest report 2019 the highest forest cover as per per state maximum for the uh, maximum maximum is for madhya pradesh according to the forest report 2019 so always remember that the correct answer for uh, rs is forest cover as per the state of first report 2019 is the is for madhya pradesh madhya pradesh has the highest forest cover the next question is that india was ranked at which position in the world bank is of doing business ranking 2019 option is 43 option b 55 option c 60 and option d 65 the correct answer of this question is the 63rd according to the world bank is of doing business ranking the 63rd is the rank of india right then next question is which city hosted the cop 14 to the united nations convention to combat desertification option a is new york option b greater noida option c moscow and option d london so first you should remember uh, you remember that the core cop 14 to the united nation conversation to the combat desertification is held in india so the only city from india is here the greater noida so the correct answer for this question is option b that is greater uh, greater noida right then next question is that the world water development report is a flagship report at flagship report of which organization option a is UN, un environment program option b global water intelligence option c un water and option d international water association so the correct answer for this question is the world water development report is a flagship report of of un water uh, organization right it is uh, then next question is that uh, consider the following statement uh, first statement is that the geological survey of india gsi revealed that arunachal pradesh has 35 graphite deposit in india deposits in india second statement is that graphite is a good conductor of electricity so question is ask about which of the following statements is are, are correct option a is uh, only first and option b only second option c is both first and second option d both none of the above so if you remember that recently uh, few months i think few months before the geological survey of india revealed that Arunachal Pradesh had 35 gra uh, graphite deposits of India then as we, as we all know that as a science student the graphite is a good conductor of electricity and it is the on, only carbon allotopes that uh, a good that is a good conductor of electricity so the correct options for this question is option C that is both statements first and second are correct regarding are that correct right so these are the last last five questions for today and the first question uh, is when is the world radio day celebrated across the world question is that when is the uh, world radio day celebrated across the world the correct answer is February or Feb 13 right so you can write the correct answer for this question is February 13. So you, 13 February 13 is the date and on 13 Feb the world radio day is celebrated across the world. The next question is that 
which country has unveiled a draft women in space policy to 2021 so country uh, which uh, has unveiled a draft women in space policy 2021 is india so it, this question has most probable chance that uh, it will be asked in the general studies paper the next question is there, what is the new upper selling so the question is what is the new upper selling of our family pension as per the ministry of personal public governance and pensions so correct answer for this question is uh, one lakh and twenty five thousand so correct answer for this question is uh, rs right and then next question is the prime minister dedicated the 6000 crore petrochemical complex of bpcl in which state uh, so this is recently announced uh, statement from the prime minister so the uh, 6 crore petrochemical complex of bpcl is, is in the state of kerala right And last question for today is which Indian uh, bowler becomes the second highest wicket taker in test played in India? So the uh, correct answer for this question is uh, is Ravichandran Ashwin. Right in the second test against Indi England, Ravichandran Ashwin becomes the second. highest wicket taker in test played in india so thank you thank you so much for uh, watching this video completely and i hope uh, this question will help you in your upsc combined Geo scientist exam to, to 2021 so all the best for your exam so that's uh, all for today and if you uh, like this video and you think that this video is going to help uh, you in the, your physics competitive exam then you can like subs uh, share and subscribe each, uh, our youtube channel or uh, physics exam point and you can share this content with your friends and which, uh, whoever want to uh, look uh, at this video and this video definitely going to help uh, him or her or in your in their physics competitive exams so all the best for your exams and keep watching keep studying physics exam point